Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Lucas. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm two weeks clean off of weed. Um, it's been, there's been ups and downs, that's for sure. Um, I need to speak from my personal experience. I need to also say that I'm an advocate for marijuana, weed, cannabis, whatever you want to call it. I think it should be legal. I think people that are old enough to buy it should have access to it. I believe it helps some people and hurts others. I believe that I had negative consequences due to my abuse of cannabis use and how it was intertwined in my life. I felt like it was taking over my life at, at times. I feel like I couldn't enjoy anything without it. So with that being said, I need to make a very bold statement. After two weeks of being clean from not smoking weed, I'm going to say that I will never smoke weed again for the rest of my life. I need to hold myself accountable. I think I, I put immense pressure on myself how it is and me making a statement like that on video just adds to it and I love pressure and I'm all or nothing. I have an addictive personality and I'm done with weed. So, some reasons, actually you know what, before I get to the reasons, let me just tell you how the last two weeks have gone. So, the first day, whew, rough, okay, the first the first um, 24 hours without weed, I was craving it bad, craving nicotine and weed at the same time, because I was still getting a little bit of nicotine with the blunt, and um, yeah, so that, uh, that was a little rough, I was coughing a lot for the first three to four days I think you know I was definitely coughing but I would go to the trash can and just spit it you know just <laughs> you know I, I knew that it was my lungs healing themselves or, or my throat whatever oh uh, my dreams <sighs> vivid very extremely vivid to the point where I could go all day and just remember what I dreamed about the night before or dreamt about the night before and not forget a single thing that happened in my dreams and a lot of my dreams were about me giving up weed which is just crazy and um very very vivid dreams so i started eating healthier i, I ate a lot of blueberries and kale and drank a lot of water you've got to drink a lot of water if you're gonna give up weed you know and I just believe that it had negative consequences on me personally, so I'm just speaking from my experience. I'm giving it up for life. I'm saying this after two weeks of not having it. After eight years of smoking, I'm 23, I started smoking when I was like 14, 15. And after two weeks of being clean, I can tell you that I won't touch it again for the rest of my life. Some reasons why. My breathing, a lot more cleaner than it was. No more tar in my lungs. Increased oxygen levels. That's great. Sharper mental dexterity. Somebody said something smart to me one time, like recently in the last couple of days. I was even smarter with my response. I wasn't arguing with this person, but I hit him with a very <laughs> a witty, uh, smart, kind of like a smart aleck response. But they were like, damn. You know, I, I don't think I would have done that if I was high or smoking. Uh, you'll have more free time. That's definitely, a, I can vouch for that. Your diet's going to improve. You know, no more munchies. The munchies are real. You know, your brain's just constantly telling you that you're not f full. And trust me, you're, you're full. You're on your fourth bowl of cereal. I, I know how it feels. You're going to have increased confidence. I believe I can vouch for that because my overall appearance, I think, has improved. You know, my skin and maybe uh, just ath athleticism in general. Um increased in creativity you know I make music and beats so this one this one I thought I needed weed to make beats or make videos and I would like set a goal like oh I'll make the melody first and then go smoke and then come back and then go smoke but I, I don't have to set those short goals anymore I'm just focused on what I'm doing this is what a beat sounds like I'm working on right now <laughs> It's not done yet, but I made that sober in, in like 45 minutes with no weed and like, that was great. But it's not done yet. Um, everything tastes better. I can vouch for that for sure. Uh, more of an ability to relax. I thought I needed weed to, to sleep and to relax. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm feeling like a natural high every day. Um, let's see, no risk of legal problems, you know. 
I know it's going to be legal soon and probably in all 50 states. I feel bad for the kids. They don't know what the hell to believe, you know. But the legal problems, at least for me, you know, it's, it's no mas. The ability to sleep and wake up easier, definitely. No, or I shouldn't say no health problems, less, less of a risk of health problems. No more having to score weed, no more having to look for it, to buy it, to sell it, to support your habit like I was doing at one point. Just more time for yourself. You, you'll have deeper relationships with everyone, you'll have more money. You're going to care more for other people. This is huge for me because I feel like one of my purposes in life is to give back. And I need to care for others sometimes more than I even care for myself. I need to start doing that more. Uh, you'll look happier and healthier. I can vouch for that. My skin is kind of cleared up a little bit, but I'm 23 and I'm still breaking out, so I don't know what's up with that. I probably got to lay off the tag-alongs or something because I bought some Girl Scout cookies not too long ago, and they're still up in the cabinet. A whole other box. But if I was high, I'm sure both of those boxes would be gone, so that's good. So I think you're going to have an increased alignment with your spirit, you know? Whether you meditate or do yoga, I don't do that, but I think you're gonna you're gonna find who you truly are without weed. Um, you're gonna have no more weird chest pains. For me, I was getting chest pains, heart uh, palpitations or palpitations, however you say it. Um, doesn't happen anymore. No more caring about what other people think. You know, there's there's times where you, you smoke, and for me, you know, at least I would I'd be high, and I wouldn't want to run into some people or. You know, those people that you just don't want to be around when you're high, you'd worry about seeing them or whatever. No more of that. So, forgotten memories come back, you know. Your dream, especially dreams, you know. It, phew, crazy. Improved sense of hearing, I can vouch for that. So, those are some of my reasons right there. And I also made this... Let me see. So... I wrote, I wrote down some notes when I got cravings, and I'll just summarize them. So most of my cravings lasted 5 to 15 minutes. Um, the longest being 15 minutes, the shortest being 5. I can tell you from 2 weeks in, 15 days sober, the cravings have almost gone away completely, but the temptation is still there to go get it and to go, man, you know, I wish I had a blunt right now or something like that. So your car is going to be cleaner, your clothes are going to smell better, you know? Anxiety and depression might come and go with this, um, with giving up weed. So just keep that in mind. Put the alcohol down for a while if you do drink alcohol. And this is my Operation Stop, Operation Stop Smoking paper that I made for myself. This is what it says. And I, I have to write my goals down so I I like keep myself accountable how do I really stop just do it I will not consume weed I shall not consume weed I want the challenge I'm serious about quitting it's simple it's not easy but it's simple I will lead by example I will save money I will put less gas mileage on my sexy Camaro. Sorry, I just wrote that down because I have, I have a 2011 Camaro and it's my dream car. I've wanted it ever since Chevy came out with the Camaro and it's, I don't want anything else but my Camaro. I may feel bored at times, but I will go for walks and play more tennis. For you, just fill in the blank with whatever you like. I will fill my time with other stuff. I will not have cheat days. I will not go back to using cannabis, weed, THC, whatever. I will find people who support my decisions. I will embrace my feelings, even if it's cravings, even if it's difficult. Take pride in being high without weed. Take pride in being high on life. Seek fulfillment in the things I do in life, not what I consume. That last line, very real. So I guess just to wrap up my 15 day video, it's gonna be hard if, if you're like in, in my position I was two weeks ago and you wanna give it up. My, my thing is go two weeks and see how you feel. Um, your dreams are gonna be vivid. Let me, let me know how it works for you, you know? 
I'm, I'm interested to see what, what other people go through when they're detoxing or if they're dropping the habit for good. For me, I'm dropping the habit for, for life. So, I hope this video helped. You know, I'd, I definitely need a haircut, but all the haircut places were closed today. But I, I had to make a video on day 15, you know. It wouldn't have been the same if I made it a week from today. So, this is my just an overall recap of the last two weeks. There's going to be ups and downs, but drink a lot of water. You know, eat good foods. Don't don't eat a lot of processed garbage. And you can probably do what I did. I'm not saying you can for sure, but you probably can. You just need to stick to it. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.